Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am going to show you how to create glitch text animation in DaVinci Resolve which looks very nice. This motion graphics can be used to create gaming intros or logo reveals for a gaming YouTube channel. I will guide you through each and every step from start to finish. I am Vikas Kumar from Skyline Motions and I am happy to have you here. Without any further ado, let's open DaVinci Resolve, start a new project and get started. Alright guys, so this is DaVinci Resolve 18.6 and all you have to do the basic setting first. So click on the setting button in the corner, set the size of this project 1920 by 1080, select a frame rate. So in this case, I am using 60 frames per second for a smooth animation and then click on save. Now I'm going to create this animation inside of the fusion page. So we have to take a new fusion composition first. So just go to media pool, right click on that, click on new fusion composition. This is going to be the text one. So I'm going to call it text zero one duration, make it three seconds long, which is very important and good enough for one text frame rate 60 click on create. Let's drag and drop the fusion composition on the timeline and then go to the fusion page. Here we have the media out node so just drag this media out to the side for now and now let's start by creating a text node. So this is the text node drag and drop on the flow window drag it to the viewer to get a preview. Here we have to type a text just like that and select your favorite font style. So in this case I'm using good times font style. You can use any font style that you like. I'm gonna set it to extra light. This is the size I'm gonna increase the size and set it to 0.2 maybe and this is the tracking so we have to animate the tracking amount just go to frame number 60 which is equal to one second according to 60 frame per second and right click on tracking click on animate go to very first frame of this animation i'm going to set the tracking value something around 1.2 and go to the end of this animation this is the tracking let's set the value 1.2 perfect now this is the linear animation so we have to make it smoother just go to spline window hit f4 to full screen check this option text one click on fit button and these are the keyframes highlight all the keyframes click on smooth button or you can also hit s on the keyboard set the cti at very first keyframe highlight this point hold this handle hold shift on the keyboard and create this type of graph as you can see now we have smooth animation now you can close the spline window after that we have to apply tilt shift blur effect so it's very simple select the text hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box and search for so this is the tilt shift blur hit add button drag and drop to the viewer here we have to do some setting this is the focus sweep Let's increase the focus sweep value and set it 0.95. Open the lens iris and this is the iris shape. I'm going to set it to a square and this is the blur strength. So we have to animate the blur strength. First of all, we have to set it to zero. Go to very first frame of this animation, right click on blur strength, click on animate or you can also click on the diamond button to add a keyframe. Go to frame number 60. Let's set the blur value something around 5. And again, this is the linear animation. So we have to make it smoother. Just go to spline window, hit F4, uncheck the text one, check the blur effect only, click on fit button. And these are the two keyframes. Select both the keyframe, hit edge to smooth, hold this handle and create a smooth graph just like that. And then close the spline window. All right, so this is the animation. After that, we have to attach a color corrector node. So this is the blur node. Select this one, click on CC color corrector, drag and drop to the viewer. You can rename these node properly if you want. This is the blur. So I'm going to hit F2 on the keyboard or you can also right click on this and click on rename. I'm going to call it blur. Hit OK and this is the color corrector. So I'm going to call it CC1. Hit OK and now let's select a color. So I'm going to use this color something like something like this one 
and we have to attach one more color corrector node so select this one click on cc for another color corrector node drag and drop to the viewer this time we have to select a different color something like this and you can also call it cc2 because this is going to be the second color corrector now we have to blend both the color this one and this one so what we have to do let's take a new rectangle tool attach the rectangle with this second color corrector it's very simple and now you can rotate the rectangle place it over here you can set it like this and we have to do only one thing here uh, you can increase the soft edge value and set it 0.2 and now we have this type of gradient color which is looking absolutely fantastic and after that we have to attach one more effect which is the glow effect so select the color corrector hit ctrl plus a space bar search for glow effect hit add button drag and drop to the viewer here we have to do some setting this is the glow size i'm going to set the value 75 and this is the glow i'm going to set it to 0 0.88 which is looking perfect and now we have to animate uh, um, the text so select the glow hit control plus a space bar search for dve node so this is the dve which is very similar to the transform node but we have three axes here x y and z so i'm going to animate the x rotation first of all we have to drag and drop the dve to the viewer and as you can see uh, I want to animate like this so what we have to do is just go to frame number 60 right click on X click on animate and lock the value 0 go to very first frame of this animation I'm gonna set the value negative 90 degree so we have nothing at frame number 0 and then we have the text reveal something like this perfect and again we have to make the animation smoother go to spline window hit F4 and this time uncheck the blur check the DVE click on fit here we have both the keyframes highlight both the keyframes hit H to smooth hold this handle and create nice and a smooth curve just like that and then close the spline window and here you can take a preview perfect now we have to attach one more node which is the transform so select the DVE click on the um, transform node and drag and drop the transform to the viewer you can keep the media out to the side uh, using this transform I want to animate only side so just go to the end of this animation right click on size or click on the diamond button to create a keyframe go to very first frame of this animation let's set the value 0 0.6 go to the end of this animation and set the value something around 0 0.75 I think so and now we have nice and smooth zoom in effect as you can see and after that we have to create a nice and simple background so it's very simple again i'm going to use an image for that so just go to media pool right click on that click on import media i'm going to use this image that i have downloaded from pixels.com where you can download free images and i will give you a link in the description select the image click on open now drag and drop the image on the flow window drag and drop to the viewer and as you can see here we have a different proportion so first of all we have to fit the image according to the project size so it's very simple you only have to take a new background node and merge the background with this image so it's very simple again take a new merge node i'm gonna connect the yellow background point with this background green foreground point with this media in and drag the merge one to the viewer now we have a perfect proportion 1920 by 1080 which is equal to the project size click on fit button now we have to adjust the color so select the merge one which is the final output of the background attach a color corrector node drag and drop to the viewer first of all let's set the saturation zero and this is the gain i'm going to set the value 0.2 and here we have the gamma let's set the value 0.58 i think and drag and drop the color corrector to the viewer now let's animate the background it's very simple select the color corrector add a transform drag and drop to the viewer go to the end of this animation right click on size click on animate and lock the size value as it is and then go to very first frame of this animation increase the size 
and set the value 1.2 so here we have this type of zoom out effect as you can see now i'm going to use this background for the text so take a new merge node connect the yellow background point with this transform 2 which is the main output of the background and this is the transform 1 which is the main output of the foreground which is the text so connect the green point with this one drag and drop this merge to the viewer and here we have perfect text animation after that we have to create one more effect which is glitch kind of effect so it's very simple select the transform hit ctrl plus a space bar for search box search for displace so this is the displace node hit add button and for the displace we need an image so what we have to do i'm going to connect the displace with this main image here we have the foreground point which is the displace one foreground you can connect this green point with the main output of this media in just like that and then you can drag and drop the merge to to the viewer so select the displace here we have a refraction strength you can adjust the refraction strength and you will get this type of effect first of all let's set this to zero to animate the refraction strength go to frame number 60 right click on refraction strength click on animate set the value 0 and then go to 20 frame forward in time i'm going to set the refraction strength something around 0.5 and then go to the end of this animation let's set this to 0 again perfect now we will get this type of effect and let's make it smoother let's go to spline window hit f4 to full screen click on fit button this time uncheck all the nodes check the displays only click on fit highlight all the keyframes click on a smooth button or hit ace on the keyboard perfect and now you can close the spline window and here we have the text animation after that you can connect the media out with this merge 2 and then go to the edit page here we have our first text animation now let me show you how you can create multiple text it's very simple select the text one hit ctrl c to copy place the cti right over here hit ctrl v to paste and place the cti on the second text go to fusion here first of all we have to change the text so this is the text let's type a different text first just like that now we have to change the color so it's very simple and very important so what we have to do select these node drag it over here and create a space between color corrector 2 and the glow node select this color corrector 2 add one more color corrector use this color corrector to change the color so i'm going to call it color hit ok and here we have the hue so you can switch the hue value and create a different color as you can see so finally we have our second title go to edit page and here we have first and the second text animation now you can turn on the loop button go to very first frame of this animation hit ctrl f to full screen and let's have a look absolutely amazing right and that's a wrap for this tutorial if you have any questions or thoughts feel free to drop a comment below and if you are new to my channel consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up to show your love and support my name is vikash kumar and i will see you in the next one till then bye bye